So one for 119, McDermott. Down the next side, he's got it. That's brilliantly taken. The batsman actually is looking towards the rear keeper. The square leg umpire's given him the yes, he's out. What a great catch that was by Dyer. The ball flew away on the leg side. At high speed, he caught it almost in the end of his fingertips. A little delay was because umpire Crafter down at the members' end went across to have a talk to the square leg umpire, umpire French. He must have given him a little nod, and as a result of that, up went the umpire's finger. Jones just getting too far across with the pads. Gave the keeper a good look at it, and that was the reason for the hesitation by umpire Crafter. There was a little bobble there, but Greg Dyer quite happy that he'd caught it. Tony Crafter, just to make sure, went and spoke to Dick French. Dick French gave him a nod. Andrew Jones is on his way in New Zealand, two for 119. I want you to really watch this ball and watch when the wicketkeeper keeper goes down. See if you can pitch, pitch, see the ball on the grass. There it comes now. The keeper goes across. Well, in my opinion, there is absolutely no doubt that that ball has hit the ground and wicketkeeper Dyer has claimed a catch, which doesn't look to me as if it was one. Tumbling catch by Dyer. We move Jones. Brings Martin Crow to the wicket. Sweet. That's better placed by Martin Crow. Before T, he picked out the man in the deep at backward square leg with a pull shot, not on this occasion.